All right, this is how you make a funeral service poster in Canva. It's real quick. Let's do it. All right, we're going to start a new document, set the unit to inches, and then the size to 18 by 24. Next, let's go ahead and change the background to a color of your choice by clicking on the background and then clicking the color wheel. I'm going to pick green. Let's put a background tool. All right, I got my cloud picture. I'm gonna drag it onto the canvas. Now I'm gonna click on that image, click transparency button and bring it down to like 50%. Cool. Add the photos you're gonna be using. I want this to have a legacy look with the family photos surrounding the main picture. So I have about a dozen photos that I'm gonna use. Once you're all uploaded, let's go ahead and jump over to elements and then scroll down to click on frames. From that point, under basic shapes, click see all and I'm going to pick circles. I want to have one circle in the center and then I'm going to have a bunch of smaller circles surrounding it. That looks good. All right, now let's add our pictures. All we need to do is click and hold the pick, drag it and then drop it. Now do that 12 more times. Let's get a pictures of border. Click on one of the pictures and then click border style. Then click the solid line and under border weight, I'm gonna use nine. Then I'm gonna apply it to all my pictures. Easy so far, right? All right, let's add the words. At the bottom, first name, pro tip. Pick a font that's easy to read, nothing that's overly fancy. Underneath, we're gonna put the last name, but this time I'm gonna use a different font. You can use the same font if you want. I just feel like switching it up. Next, I'm gonna add an effect to his last name. Click on the name and then click effects. You can pick whatever effects you want, but I'm gonna go with splice. All right, as a nice touch, let's put a celebration of life underneath. Looking good. At the top, add the birthday and then add the date that they passed away i usually stick to about three fonts at max I, I feel like more than that it just starts to look confusing if you want more info on how i use fonts you can click right here if you found it to be helpful make sure you check out my other camera videos and make sure you subscribe too i appreciate y'all watching peace